What's going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to do an updated Kilo class setup. I'm going to give you some ideas of things you can run in multiplayer. Of course, an idea of some things you can run in Warzone. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, we're going to talk about the multi or one of the multiplayer classes you can run. When it comes to secondary, as always, the M19. And when it comes to multiplayer, you guys know my perks never really change. EOD, Ghost, and Tracker. Unless I am playing uh, Ground War, sometimes I will run Cold-Blooded instead of EOD or maybe even Kill Chain. Those are the only things I really change in multiplayer. Now, when it comes to Lethal, I always run a Simtex. Tactical, I always run a Stim Shot. When it comes to attachments, there's a few different things you can run. The first set we're going to kind of look at, or the first set of attachments we're going to look at, is going to kind of be a speed or more of a mo mo mobile mobility style class. Uh, the first thing that's going to be on this weapon, of course, is the monolithic suppressor. Sound suppression, damage range, of course, aim down sight speed, and aim walking steadiness are the cons. Then we're going to go with the Syngard Arm 16.6 .6 barrel. This is still a barrel that's going to give you damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, but it only has one con of aim down sight speed. If you go with the 19.8 Prowler, you're going to get more accuracy, range, and control, but of course you're going to have a second con, which is going to be movement speed. So since we're playing smaller modes, this is mainly for like Team Deathmatch or anything that's 6v6, uh, the Syngard Arm 16.6 .6 SOCOM Barrel is definitely enough range for most of all of these maps. The next thing we're going to go to is the stock, which we're going to run the no stock attachment, which is going to give us movement speed, aim down sight speed. Of course, the cons are going to be aiming stability and recoil control. Then we're going to go with the, a kind of tried and true uh, attachment that everybody runs pretty much on every gun, and that is stippled grip tape. Not just for the aim down sight speed. Most people like this for the sprint to fire speed. Of course, the con is going to be aiming stability. And last but not least, we're going to go with the commando foregrip, which is going to give us recoil stabilization and aiming stability with a con of movement speed. As you can see, this thing has pretty good stats all around. A little bit on the downside, I guess you would say, on the control, but very good mobility. Like I said, this is a very mobile class for 6v6 kind of uh, game modes. There's a couple things you can do to change this up. You could always drop the no stock attachment and go with the 100 round mag drum. A lot of people like this. That way you never have to reload, but you're definitely going to have a, a kind of mobility decrease by a good bit. My recommendation would be probably go with the 50 round mag in something like Team Deathmatch or even in Ground War. You could also drop um, this here, the underbarrel itself, and go with an optic, something, you know, whatever you prefer, whether it be, uh, you know, the solarized optics, you know, a, a zoom style optic, the Viper, just pretty much whatever you want. The hybrid flipped, the Cronin Mini Reflex, the GI Mini Reflex. There are a lot of good sites. A lot of people have different preferences when it comes to sites. But that's just kind of another idea that you can use. You also could just go with it like we were just talking about. No stock. Just use the underbarrel attachment and the magazines instead of the stock. Whatever you prefer. But just keep in mind, everything's kind of personal preference. Kind of play with what works for you. The reason I like to run extended mags in some multiplayer situations is usually ground war. When, it's not, when I'm not in ground war, I don't feel like I need as much ammo. So that's usually why I go with the no stock attachment. You also can go something like the TAC laser if you prefer it instead of the no stock. The next thing we're going to look at is another class that you can run in multiplayer, but is a very good class in ground war. If you want to run this in multiplayer, of course, you can leave your perks and your lethals and tacticals the same as we just talked about in the past uh, setup. Of course, for Warzone specifically, I always go with Cold-Blooded Ghost and Tracker, a Molotov cocktail for my lethal and the heartbeat sensor as my tactical equipment. The pistol never changes. The M19 pistol is what I always use. And when it comes to attachments, like I said, you can use this in multiplayer or in Warzone. It's really good in Warzone. In multiplayer, it's kind of slow in 6v6 modes. But in Ground War, I found find that this works very well because you're not having to just kind of rush up on people all the time because the map's a lot bigger. So you can go with the Monolithic Suppressor again. This time, we're going to go with the 19.8 Prowler Barrel, which is going to give us damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. But as we talked before, this is going to give you two cons, aim down sight speed and movement speed. The next thing we're going to go with is the Ranger Foregrip. Now this is going to give us some more aim, uh, aiming stability and recoil control at the cons of aim, walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. Then we're going to go with the 50 round mag. If you're playing Warzone, you could go with the 50, 60 or 100, whatever you prefer, because you're not having to be as, mo uh, as much, I guess you're not having to have as much mobility because you're not just rushing around the map. You know, you can pick people off from long ranges. I would definitely rec recommend always running a magazine in Warzone because you're getting in fights with multiple players. People have more health. So extended mags is pretty much always a must on any weapon in Warzone. And last but not least, the stippled grip tape, just to help with sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, of course, 
the con of aiming stability. There's a couple things you can change up here, of course, as well. You can drop the stippled grip tape all together and run a sight. You could run some type of stock, or you could run some type of laser if you prefer, or even something like sleight of hand. Uh, recon is not the greatest thing in anything in the game, in my opinion. It doesn't really show up uh, enemy nameplates as rank, at range like you think it would, like something from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, fully loaded or sleight of hand are probably my two favorites to run if I'm going to run a perk. But the way this setup was kind of shown to begin with is my favorite way to run this in Warzone. Like I said, it's also very good in ground war. You could run it in team deathmatch, but you're going to play a lot slower than you normally would in a round of 6v6. Anyway, guys, I hope this gives you some ideas of things you can run on the Kilo for different style or different you know play styles or different game modes. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.